YouTube with X up, your boy XP Slayer, and today we're going to be going over my productivity and setup tour. Just want to let y'all know that if you need anything from the video that you see, it will be down in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Hope y'all enjoy. All right, I'll be taking you all from left to right in the room. So let's get started. Walk in, loading shelf on the left. We got a couple boxes from the setup. We got the Tim and Ninja figurines. And of course, we got the hollow Charizard. Gotta always have that on deck. Moving over, we got another small shelf. A little a couple statues from the stock market. Ferrari F40. And then our key light or ring light, whatever you want to call it. This is from Amazon. It wasn't super expensive. I want to say it was about $30 maybe it comes with a tripod so you don't have to worry about that all right starting with the desk we got a custom desk built by me and my dad I used to have the ikea setup but moved along to a custom one just because i was running out of a lot of room so built this my ourselves didn't really cost a ton and it is stronger than any desk i will have so moving on to the microphone we've got the sure sm7b which i'm sure a lot of you see with your favorite streamers and or youtubers it's kind of become a staple in the community now. It is an awesome mic. I don't know if it's for everyone. It's pretty expensive, but if you're doing any voice work, I highly recommend it. It's, I mean, it's hard to beat. That's held up by the Gator Frameworks arm. Uh, the arm's a little bit overkill. I don't know if you need something this high end for a, for a mic like this, but I haven't had any issues with it, so no complaints from me on that end. Moving on to the monitors, the left one, we've got a Asus 1440p, 165 hertz. This is my primary gaming monitor. Pretty much do everything on here. Other, I mean, I do any YouTube videos, things like that on here. It's awesome monitor. Pretty expensive from what I can remember. It's been a couple years though, so it probably has dropped a little bit in price, but it's an awesome monitor regardless. On the right side, we've got an LG 4K 60 hertz. This is where I do all my graphic design and video editing work. Um, LG's monitors have had a huge step up in the last couple of years, so. Highly recommend anything from LG. Their monitors are awesome. Up top, we have a Dell, like $100, 1080, 60 hertz monitor. Just needed something. This mainly just runs on the streaming PC over uh, there. And so it doesn't really do much, but awesome monitor for 100 bucks. Picked up off Amazon. Up here, we've got the camera. This is the Sony A6100. It's powered by an Elgato cam link and held up by an Elgato arm. So shout out Elgato. Uh, it came with a kit lens. It's like a three and a half uh, f-stop, 16 to 50. If anything, I might upgrade that. It's not anything special. Camera's pretty relatively cheap for mirrorless. It's like 600 bucks from what I can remember. It might be a little bit more. I can't remember exactly, but it's an awesome camera for getting into streaming if you don't want to just use a webcam. Now onto the PC is powering this setup. Got dual PC, shout out to Paradox. He is a custom PC builder in the gaming community. So massive, massive thanks to him for working with me on these. And our big boy right here, she is a hog. We've got a Ryzen 5900X 3090 graphics card, 64 gigabytes, G-Skill RAM, 3600 megahertz. And on an Asus motherboard with nine, count them, nine, Lee and Lee fans in the Lee and Lee 011 dynamic case. This case has been pretty basic now for a couple of years, but I love it for the openness and I'm not going to switch because I don't care being basic. Behind it back here, we've got my streaming PC. It is a Ryzen 3700X. Sorry, it's a little tough to see. Ryzen 3700X, 3060 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM and an Elgato capture card. Honestly, your streaming PCs don't have to be anything super crazy as they're literally just displaying uh, your OBS for you in streaming. But it is pretty awesome how many frames and things you can save off of the uh, gaming PC by using the second PC. I mean, it's not for everyone. It's a lot of room, a lot of wires. Uh, my wire management, less than stellar. You know, we'll just give a little sneak peek there. Nothing too, nothing too much. But yeah, it's tucked back there. You know, not the hero of the show. We got th this thing is, this is the one right here. This, uh, this is what does it for you. Moving on to the peripherals of the setup. Our keyboard, we've got the 100 Thieves High Ground. Uh, I don't know the specifics of the things. I'm not a keyboard snob, I'm just a big 100 Thieves fan. So that's uh, that's that. Um, 
We've got the Logitech G502 wired mouse. Had a razor death adder, broke the glue off the side, so had to buy a new mouse. Brings us on to our next one. It's wired because I have to use a USB switch. This is I plug my keyboard and mouse right here into that, press this nice big shiny button, swap it to my streaming PC when I need it. Controller, using a custom Battle Beaver controller. Got the two buttons on the back. I have to use two buttons because I've always just used them, so it's very hard for me to switch. Had their Pro Pick, very good option if you guys are looking for a controller. It's about $150, $160, and it gets here in like two weeks or a week compared to like the two months that it takes to build one of these. So honestly, I'd recommend just doing a Pro Pick because I don't know how much of an upgrade this is compared to those. Uh, Elgato Stream Deck, everyone knows what a Stream Deck is at this point. Uh, I don't really use it to its full potential as much as I should. I know a lot of people use it uh, to, for sound effects, things like that. So it's really good. Definitely uh, a great setup. I use it for recording, clipping, things of that nature. Over here, we got the Go XLR. This is awesome for a dual PC. If you have a dual PC, I highly, highly recommend getting one of these. It simplifies everything. There's four or five wires in the back. You got your power, USB, your two in and out, the and then the XLR cable. Um, and then now you have your game, music, voice, and then your microphone itself. Sound effects up here. And then your sampler is where you save all your beautiful, beautiful sounds that you want to use constantly. And yeah, it's awesome. Couldn't recommend it more. Great product. A couple other important pieces. We've got the headset, Astro A40s. Been using them for the last, I don't know, six, seven years. Love them. Uh, tried the Arctic. Nothing. I mean, there's just nothing that compares to these for me. Phone stand. Uh, used to be a wireless charger. Lost the cord to it. So just use it as a phone stand. And then... The old 64 ounce water bottle, that's how you make sure that you stay hydrated a couple times on there. Amazon, 20 bucks, go ahead and grab yourself one of them. Over here, we have our 100 Thieves high ground jelly bag, couple camera accessories underneath. We've got our camera bag. That'll be a separate video because I have so much in there. A couple other things that go with the camera, tripod. Uh, my favorite part, we've got the beautiful mini fridge stocked full of arnold palmer always arnold palmer time don't you worry Beep. arnold palmer alert arnold palmer alert wrapping it up we've got another shelf in the back got a bunch of camera accessories on it uh my drone and a couple pokemon cards down there nothing too crazy got my chair that i like to sit in that's where i lounge it looks a little old it's because it is and then back there, we got a couple flags. We got the Create Supply and Rich and Lonely flag. And then the Optic flag, you know, shout out Optic Gaming. And to wrap it up, we got our Blackjack sign. You know, big Blackjack guy myself. So don't, uh, don't throw all your money in it, kids. Gamble responsibly. Five. I'll stay. And laptop for work. For all you gamers that get hot like I do while you game, grab yourself a nice beautiful fan just like this, like 50 bucks on Amazon, comes with a remote controller, turn it on and off while you're gaming. Part that no one shows you, underneath the desk, we have a ottoman, oh, and a foot pedal, forgot about my foot pedal. $20, Amazon, you go ahead and grab that, you can mute yourself in Discord just by clicking it down, clicking it up, good to go. Off to the left, a little foot, foot pad, this is what I use while I game, do one of these, Bam, comfortable, always. And then a garbage bin for all my extra Arnold Palmer cans, as you can see. Now I'm sure everyone's wondering about the lights. Back there we've got two uh, Govi Flow Pro, I wanna say they're called. I just got them, they're like 50 bucks on Amazon. They're really great. You can swap colors to whatever you need on those. Uh, over here I've got the Govi light strips. It goes all the way around the wall. And then at the bottom here, right next to the chair, I've got an RGB floodlight, uh, which is awesome. It also connects to my phone, makes everything super easy. So light situation is pretty solid in here. And then just the regular standard key light. So yeah, almost forgot about the chair that I sit in every day, which is kind of important. I got the Seeker Labs Titan chair. I'm about 6'3", and this chair fits me perfectly. So if you're a taller person looking for a chair that you don't rack your knees into the bottom of your desk, this is the one right here.
Just want to stop in one last time before the video ends. For anyone that got to this point, go ahead and leave me a comment that says hydrated. That's our keyword down in the comment section. So I know you watched all the way through. Uh, again, this is my setup. I don't want anyone to think that they need exactly what I need. This is just what works best for me. This took a lot of years. I work full time. I do a lot on the side. I've been working up since I was 16. So definitely takes a while. Does not have to be done all at once. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys found some inspiration for your setups. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.